Yo, what is going on you guys? Bastion Wadio here and today I'm coming at you with my updated Sky Striker deck profile for you guys. Sky Striker just keeps getting either stuff off the ban list or we get brand new support. And th in this video guys, in this video I'm going to get you guys the most recent, most updated Sky Striker deck profile post Monstrous Revenge guys. We got a brand new Link Monster and a whole bunch of new support. Majority of support, I'm not going to lie to you guys, is very very much garbage. All the main deck monsters are absolutely gar- Except for one, except for one. Do we have anything in... Okay, cool. So, uh, the Celia is actually not the, not that bad. Okay, cool. So, uh, let me go over these with you guys. So, these are the three brand new main deck uh, Sky Striker cards. Might be more, whatever. They're actually- uh, I mean, they're all bad. Uh, except for this one, right? So, you can discard a spell card, special summon this card from your hand. It's already bad because special summons itself, and you don't need any in the main monster zone. Side the point. Uh, so anyway, you uh, you can banish one spell from your graveyard, give control of this card to your opponent, and if you do, special summon one Sky Striker Ace Monster from your graveyard. That's really good because you're immediately blocking yourself from getting uh, evenly matched or whatever crazy nonsense they may need a or imp protection from imperm it protects your Kagari from imperm, which is nice, and it gets you a recursion of a Sky Striker Ace Monster in your graveyard, which is cool. I mean, this is actually not a bad card. All the rest of them, like this guy and this girl, whatever, really, really bad cards. So we're not playing them in this deck. Just go ahead and give you guys a heads up before we get into the video. But we did get a fantastic new Link 2 monster, guys. And go ahead and take full advantage of it today. So, first things first. Uh, well, I, I, think, I believe I already said that. Anyway, today, guys, with the Sky Striker, first of all, it is going to be a going second strategy. I mean, no matter what right so i tried potentially doing like a hybrid playing there can be only one in the main deck it's just not the way to go with this deck it is so much better it is infinitely better as a going second strategy guys uh, as being honest with you i don't think that sky striker is made to be uh going first deck at least not the way it is, the current meta is i just think it's i mean the deck is essentially just made to break boards it can break any single board it comes across just with the cards in the main deck alone so honestly if you go ahead and go second game one Game two, they might make you go first. If you lose that one, game three, you make yourself go second, you break their board, and you're good to go. I uh, wish the brand new Link 2 monster actually does a fantastic job, guys, of getting us an additional way, a better way, I should say, to break your opponent's board. I don't want to say better. It, it really helps you when it comes to breaking boards. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get right into it, guys. Uh, we play, of course, three Ray, one Rose. That has not changed. And one Surgical Striker Hamp. So Kaiju... Really, really nice. Having to engage in the deck is essential, of course. Being able to search out your kaiju, just to kaiju whatever your opponent has. If they have a Shangri Era, you kaiju it. If they have the Arise Heart, you kaiju it. If you have uh, in other matches, for example, if they have a Sword Soul, you you get rid of their uh, the uh, Synchro level ten. Whether if that's Baron or she or not, she shall uh, long uh, was it long? Yeah, it's been a while since I've since I played Sword Soul. I don't remember what the names are, but. Essentially, it just helps you out in a lot of strategies going second, just being able to kaiju whatever your opponent has. And then, of course, these Sky Striker cards uh, will not change. There is a possibility of potentially running a second copy of the Rose Mate. Not three. No, three is too much. So we got three copies of Ash Blossom and three copies of Effect Veiler. And that's going to round out the monster lineup, guys. I did put Effect Veiler back in here because it is still a very, very powerful hand trap. I want to say there's a lot of cards to activate on the field. On your on the opponent's main phase, so example, Vanquish Soul is a huge one. If there's normal summon Raisin, activate Raisin, you activate uh, Baylor, and then they're pretty much their turn ends. <laughs> ends from there, unless you want to go into a Link One and do some less shenanigans. But Effective Baylor is just really, really good, and then there's really no explanation needed for the Ash Blossom, is there? So that's gonna be it for the uh, main deck monsters, guys. Now for the spells, we got two copies of the brand new sky striker mobilizing gauge guys this card art is absolutely beautiful so yes go ahead and take a look real quick absolutely beautiful uh it just looks really really sick man just uh how uh not deep in thought but <laughs> just how like dramatic the artwork is on this is actually super super cool so we finally got our two secret rare copies of engage play of course three copies of widow anchor would not be a sky striker deck without it uh also three copies of linkage and two copies of multi-roll three copies multi-roll is just too much especially you're gonna be going 
You're gonna be going second, drawing any, uh, two of these cards is, uh, drawing, uh, sorry, both of these in your opening hand is absolutely terrible because you can't really do anything with them. Yeah, activate one, send the other one to the graveyard, and then there's nothing else you can really do. It's just a way to get more spells in the grave, but it is an extremely, extremely powerful card, just if you're able to see one of them, but having two in the deck is just nice just in case. For the other Sky Striker spells, guys, you play two copies of Sky Striker Afterburn, one copy of Shark Cannon, one Hornet Drone, one Area Zero. I consider playing two Area Zero, it's just, um, I like one, because this after you activate the effect once, uh, there's not really much of an incentive to activate it again just because you have to engage so after you have engage you just keep activating engage just wherever you want so it's it's on it's a uh, on field effect to go ahead and target one and mill top three and add one it just becomes irrelevant at that point so just one is absolutely fine guys now for our supporting cast of spells, we play three copies of Forbidden Chalice. Actually a phenomenal card in this deck, of course it is a spell. And any type of on-field negation is just really, really good. So of course, uh, two copies of Lightning Storm, three copies of Triple Tactics Talents. Uh, being able, look, being able to take your opponent's monster, being able to, and then link it off, which is really good, especially if you're gonna be going into that new Sky Striker link. Uh, being able to take your opponent's light monster, if they have one, that'd be really nice. Also, being able to get hand advantage, uh, not hand advantage, hand knowledge is really, really crucial as well, or just being able to draw two. And because we didn't want to conflict with this, we played two copies of Pot of Desires. Just being able to see any two other spells in your deck is going to be really, really clutch. Uh, so I thought Desi uh, uh, Desires might be better than Prosperity in this case because there's more cards also in the extra deck that you are guaranteed to be most likely using. So I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and try Desires. I actually really been liking it as well. So. That has been a big change for me as well. And then one copy of Upstart and Reinforcement of the Army to round off our spells. And for the only three traps we play in the deck, guys, three Imperm. Only reason I didn't want to play evenly in this deck uh, is because they're still going to have one monster you're going to have to deal with. And usually it's going to be a really, really annoying monster that you're going to have to deal with. So it doesn't make much sense to play evenly in the main deck. At least in my personal opinion, maybe in the side if you're going, uh, going up against like Labyrinth, so it can be like a more of a blowout strategy. Uh, but Imperm is good enough. Uh, is a 41 card deck with the Upstart Goblin. Upstart Goblin is just a free spell you put into the grave, guys. Uh, so that is going to be it for the main deck. Now for the extra deck, guys, we play uh, still a pretty standard. Three Kagari, three Shizuku, three Hayate. Uh, some people play two. I think that's uh, that's incorrect. I think two, three Hayate is definitely going to be the best just because you are able to either send your engage and add it back of Kagari or send your linkage and add it back of Kagari. <laughs> So I think Hayate is just really, really nuts. Or you can send your Rose off Hayate and then activate Linkage. And then some Kagari, yada yada, do it again, do the OTK, right? Uh, so that's gonna be for the first nine Sky Striker Extra Deck Monsters, then one Kaina, two Zeke, and one Sky Striker Ace Azalea, the brand new Sky Striker uh, linked to. Honestly, I think this is going to be one of the best cards of the entire format. Just the versatility that it has any let uh, any and or light or dark monsters. I mean, it's super generic to make. Uh, if you have uh, three or more spells in the grave, you don't send this to the graveyard, which is nice, stays on the on the board in, in the event that you are playing this in a different strategy. In this strategy, that you're pretty much guaranteed to have three spells in the deck after turn one anyway. So honestly, I think Sky Striker Aces Alias is really, really good. Uh, the fact that you can get pretty much two monsters off the field with this is actually nuts. Uh, if you guys have not read this card, I'm gonna go ahead and do it with you guys. So, must be Link Summon. You can only special summon Sky Striker Ace Azalea once per turn. If this card is list, a special summon, you can target one card on the field, destroy it. Then, if you have three or less spells in the grave, send this card to the graveyard. So that's what I was talking about. If you have three or more spells in, or, or more or over three spells in the grave, you guys should be okay. Which, if you're playing Sky Striker, you're gonna have more than three spells regardless, right? Uh, so then. Once per turn, at the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can banish one spell from your graveyard and destroy that opponent's monster. So really, really good right off the bat, being able to get you two cards off your opponent's field. So honestly, I think it's definitely worth playing at least at least at one. Uh, two is uh, two maybe. I mean, you could probably you could, there is an argument to be made that you could potentially play one Zeke and two of the Azalea. 
and it will be just as good, if not potentially better. I'm trying her out just one right now because uh, essentially the other alternative for me would be play two Zeke and two Azalea because I really like Zeke. And honestly, I need space for these two cards, guys. The Celine Dion Queen Master of Magicians and Access Code Talker to be able to go ahead and uh, pretty much OTK your opponent. Actually, instead of this, we got... We pulled the Starlight Access Code. Oh my god, look at this beauty, man. This is awesome. Uh, I probably shouldn't show you that because I don't think the opening of the video has gone up yet. But anyway, guys, I want to go ahead and do, a, do my own little quick flex. I know I don't really do that, but uh, I thought that was really, really cool. Anyway, uh, so let me know what you guys think about Sky Striker in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this strategy? Do you guys agree that Sky Striker is primarily and only should be a going second strategy? If you disagree, you think it can be a going first strategy, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be able to go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll discuss. We'll do a quick back and forth, see what you guys think, right? But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. I got many more deck profiles, including Galaxy Eyes, here coming up later on this week for the brand new support that just came out for it. Really exciting, guys. If there's any decks that you guys want to see, make sure you leave them in the comments. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one.